Hi, this is Scott Cartwright. And this is Dr. Rudy Cartwright, the MS Health Coach. And we want to thank you for checking out our video. We get a lot of questions from MS recoverers just like you who are looking for the perfect MS diet. And to be honest with you, I don't know if such a thing exists. The perfect diet, I don't know if that exists, but we definitely can tell you what foods you should be eating and what foods and things you should be staying away from. And one of the questions is, is soda pop really bad for MS recovery and that is what we're going to talk about in this quick video for you today. Before we get into that, let me tell you just a little bit about us. Uh, like I said, my name is Scott Cartwright. I have a master's degree in public health and I work with people and their diseases all day on a daily basis. And I'm also the founder and creator of MS Health University, a site I put together because MS affects me personally. You see, my wife has MS and we deal with the ups and downs that go along with that on a daily basis. Dr. Cartwright here again. I'm a brain surgeon and an expert in multiple sclerosis. And if you're wondering how a brain surgeon knows so much about multiple sclerosis, well, let me just tell you. I have over 35 years of training and experience. And during that time, I've seen my share of accidents that occurred from motor, you know, uh, motorcycles, bicycles, cars, trucks, and these caused injuries to the brain and spinal cord. And it what occurs in those kind of injuries to the brain and spinal cord over a short period of time occurs in multiple sclerosis over an extended period of time. Now, why am I so passionate about multiple sclerosis? Well, let me just tell you. About several, actually, um, three or four years ago, uh, my daughter-in-law, Scott's wife, was diagnosed with the MS while she was in the middle of her medical school training. And Scott got on the phone and call, called me and told me about it. And I told him, don't worry, don't worry. I know what to do. So that sent me back to the library doing some, you know, more research, 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 research. And then I put together a program for her that she followed. And I'm happy to say that she finished her medical school training. And now she's doing quite well in the middle of her residency training. So that's why I'm really passionate about MS. And that's where I wanted to leave it. And then one day my son walked in and said, Dad, you got to share this information with others. And I go, no way, no way, no way. I'm not interested in the limelight. But he kept hammering on me and hammering on me. And I finally gave in. And I started to give presentations and webinars. And I want to share that kind of information with you to help you get you know, rid of your MS symptoms. And that's why I'm here today. Now, this slide indicates my diploma from Baylor College of Medicine that shows that I did my neurosurgery training from June 1974 through June of 1979. Okay? All right, great. So let's jump into what is a good MS diet and find out whether or not soda pop is good or bad for you. Before we do that, though, I just need to let you know that Dr. Cartwright is a medical doctor with over 35 years of training and experience, but the information we're sharing with you today is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as medical advice. Dr. Cartwright has not seen you as a patient and cannot give you medical advice. So whatever you do, please be sure to consult with your doctor before you make any changes to your medical routine. And with that, let's find out about soda pop. Okay, first, what do we mean by diet? It's merely what we eat and what we drink. And soda pop is it's everywhere, everywhere in all, all of the countries. But the important thing about soda pop is that it contains a, pre a preservative, no, you know, it's benzoate. It's either sodium benzoate or pas a potassium benzoate or calcium benzoate. The problem with that is, is that when you combine that benzoate with ascorbic acid or vitamin C, then uh, that, is, that benzoate is con converted into benzene. And benzene is horrible as far as the human body is concerned. And that's why the soda pop is really bad. 
And so does it say on the soda pop can, does it say sodium benzoate or potassium benzoate or calcium benzoate? Will you know if that's in the, in the you, soda or not? Yes, you will, they will list that as one of the ingredients. And uh, they've tried to get them to remove the benzoate for several years, but so far they haven't been able to do that to preserve uh, what's in the uh, in other ingredients uh, in that soda pop. But the important thing is that benzoate plus ascorbic acid is uh, converted into benzene and, and that, that is really toxic to the human body. All right. Okay. Now, that benzene may cause problem with your bone marrow. And as you know, when you have multiple sclerosis, you may have osteoporosis. That benzene may be contributing to that. Not only that, the immune system has gone awry uh, with uh, you know, with with uh, multiple sclerosis, and this uh, benzene may be, you know, contributing to that. So, here are the action steps. It's a very simple one. Discontinue using drinks that contain benzoate. You gotta look look on the can or bottle or carton and read the label. If it says benzoate on that label, don't consume it. All right, great. So it seems like if you really are trying to do everything that you can do to maintain a great MS diet and a diet when you have multiple sclerosis, you really need to cut out the soda pop. There may be some sodas that don't have benzoate in them, but the I think that the next action step for you along with this is to make sure that you check. Don't just consume these sodas without knowing whether or not they have benzoate in them. And if they do have benzoate in them, you need to stay away from them. And, and I didn't get you to explain real quick, Deb. What, what, can you tell us just a little bit about what the benzoate or the benzene does to you when you have well, MS? Well, it's a toxin. You know, it's like breathing gasoline. It has benzene in, in, the, um, in the gasoline, in the automobile gasoline. And these toxins will harm the body of the cell. They will harm the nucleus of the cell. And when, when uh, the nucleus of the cell is not, you know, working properly, then what will happen? Those cells will die, uh, those, uh, and you become more disabled when you have multiple sclerosis. All right, great. So hopefully you like this information. We have a lot more information like this on our website at www.mshealthuniversity.com. You can come over there and visit us, or you can also click on the link in the description section of this video. We go into much greater detail on the things that you need to do in order to continue to get rid of your MS symptoms. We talk about diet. We talk about supplements. We talk about medications, all those things, including a blog. So be sure to be sure to check that out and keep looking for other videos that we put out. And until next time, here's to your health.